Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. Eleazar, one of the foremost scribes, a man of advanced age and noble appearance, 
was being forced to open his mouth to eat pork, but preferring a glorious death to a life of defilement, he spat out the meat and went forward of his own accord to the instrument of torture, as people ought to do who have the courage to reject the food which it is unlawful to taste even for love of life. Those in charge of that unlawful ritual meal took the man aside privately because of their long acquaintance with him and urged him to bring meat of his own providing, such as he could legitimately eat, and to pretend to be eating some of the meat of the sacrifice prescribed by the king. In this way, he would escape the death penalty and be treated kindly because of their old friendship with him. But Eleazar made up his mind in a noble manner, worthy of his years, the dignity of his advanced age, the merited distinction of his gray hair, and of the admirable life he had lived from childhood. And so he declared that above all, he would be loyal to the holy laws given by God. He told them to send him at once to the abode of the dead, explaining, at our age, it would be unbecoming to make such a pretense Many young people would think the 90-year-old Eleazar had gone over to an alien religion. Should I thus pretend for the sake of a brief moment of life, they would be led astray by me, while I would bring shame and dishonor on my old age, even if, for the time being, I avoid the punishment of man. I shall never, whether alive or dead, escape the hands of the Almighty. Therefore, by manfully giving up my life, I will prove myself worthy of my old age, and I will leave to the young a noble example of how to die willingly and generously for the revered and holy laws. Eliasar spoke thus and went immediately to the instrument of torture. Those who shortly before had been kindly disposed now became hostile toward him because what he had said seemed to them utter madness. When he was about to die under the blows, he groaned and said, The Lord in his holy knowledge knows full well that although I could have escaped death, I am not only enduring terrible pain in my body from this scourging, but also suffering it with joy in my soul because of my devotion to him. This is how he died, leaving in his death a model of courage and an unforgettable example of virtue, not only for the young, but for the whole nation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord upholds me. The Lord upholds me. O Lord, how many are my adversaries? Many rise up against me. Many are saying of me, There is no salvation for him in God. The Lord upholds me. But you, O Lord, are my shield, my glory. You lift up my head. When I call out to the Lord, he answers me from his holy mountain. The Lord upholds me. 
When I lie down in sleep, I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I fear not the myriads of people arrayed against me on every side. The Lord upholds me. Please stand. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was, but he could not see him because of the crowd for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anyone, from anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading today is about the inspiring and edifying story of a 90-year-old Jew named Eleazar. At that time, the Israelites were under pagan Greeks. And the Greeks were forcing the Jews to abandon their faith in God by asking them to do things that are against Jewish laws against their faith. And those who refuse to follow them, those who refuse to abandon their faith, were killed. Eleazar, an old man and respected by the Jews, was asked to eat pork, something that is against their laws. Eleazar refused to do it. And because of this, he would be killed. So some people suggested to Eleazar to just pretend to be eating meat so as to save his life. Magpanggap lang na kumakain 
ng baboy. Kunyari lang para hindi siya patayin. But Eleazar was more concerned of the example that he would leave to the younger generations than his own life. He said, I may be able to save my life, but how will the young people look at me? Ang tingin nila, sinuway ko ang aking pananampalataya para lamang iligtas ang aking buhay. What an inspiring and edifying life. Our gospel today is about the story of the conversion of Zacchaeus. And in the encounter between Jesus and Zacchaeus, Jesus invited himself to the house of Zacchaeus. All that Zacchaeus wanted was to see who Jesus was. But when Jesus looked up to him, he said to Zacchaeus, Come down quickly, I will go to your house. And in the house of Zacchaeus, most probably there were many other tax collectors and sinners like him. For remember, he was the chief tax collector. Big boss siya. Kaya siguro doon sa kainan sa kanyang bahay, para kay Jesus, maraming mga tax collectors na katulad niya. And before all of them, and before Jesus, Zacchaeus promised retribution for his sins. I shall pay back four times those I have defrauded. Zacchaeus gave a good example of conversion to other sinners like him. And for sure, there were many other tax collectors, probably his subordinates, who also converted and followed Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, the stories of Eleazar in our first reading today and Zacchaeus in our gospel today remind us of the important role of elders, of adults, and of leaders in our society in giving good examples to younger generations. Isang mahalagang misyon ng mga namumuno at mga nakatatanda ang sila'y magbigay ng mabuting halimbawa sa mga nakakabata. Many times, we adults would ask, what has happened to the younger generations? Bakit ba ganyan ng mga kabataan ngayon? Bakit ganyan ang kanilang ugali? Bakit ganyan ang kanilang values? And we often blame them for what they have become. But probably the more bet the better question to ask is what I what have I done or what did I not do that made the younger generation like this? Ano kaya ang ginawa ko bilang nakatatanda? O ano kaya ang hindi ko ginawa bilang nakatatanda o namumuno kaya sila nagkaganyan? I remember one old TV advertisement with this slogan, Sa mata ng bata, ang isang pagkakamali ay nagiging tama kapag ito ay ginagawa ng nakakatanda. In the light of our readings today, we could also say, sa mata ng mga bata, 
ang isang pagkakamali ay nagiging tama kapag ito ay ginagawa ng namumuno at ng mga nakakatanda. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us thank the Lord for the many Eleazars and Zacchaeuses who give us lives that are worthy to emulate and follow. And let us also ask God for the grace that we may be like them. May we not cause scandal to others, especially to the young. May we not lead them astray, but may we live lives that will be inspiring and edifying for them. Please stand. In the meeting between our Lord and Zacchaeus, we see that true mercy is the most profound source of justice. We pray as sinners on behalf of sinners, but let our prayer express confident trust in the divine mercy. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to welcome those who seek forgiveness and inner peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who run business and industry may be generous and just. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may be prepared to welcome the Lord whenever He comes into our lives and allow him to make his home in us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may see in their trials and suffering the redeeming cross of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may be rewarded with everlasting happiness in the life of the world to come. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Holy Mass. God our Father, fill our hearts with your love. Give us your saving help when we fall, and keep us always in your care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord his death we celebrate in love his resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. We wish to thank all of you for joining our Mass this morning, those who are joining the live streaming of this Mass. And in a special way, we wish to thank our new doctors 
those who pass the recent physician licensure examination, especially those who came from the Pamantasan ng Lunsod ng Maynila. We congratulate you for and our college, our school, for being the highest passing rate, for getting the highest passing rate among all the medical schools in this recent licensure examination. Congratulations po sa inyo at nawa ay maglingkod tayo bilang mga tagapagpagaling ni Jesus para sa ating kapwa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, yeah.